see it happen. I think Gonna be uh, looking for a hook, that hook that he got caught with by Mosley. Boom! <laughs> you never know. You never know. Catch him slipping. Boom! Phil, have you seen my yoga throw leg kick? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, actually, I've just seen him throw some knees, but I haven't seen him throw a leg kick. Will he be throwing a leg kick here today? I'm hoping no. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that bad? Um, well, judging from the knees that I saw in the, uh, the promo video, um, I, I wouldn't have a lot of uh, faith in his leg kicks, so uh, I'm hoping no. With Devin Price, CEO of Shine. Devin, have you seen my yoga throw a leg kick? Have I? Yes. Uh, yeah. How is it? How, how's his MMA uh, training been going? His MMA training's coming along well. You asked yeah. me about leg kicks. I mean, leg kicks, it, that's different, but MMA training's coming along well. So Dean Thomas is showing him about the other He's saying that Dean Thomas is showing him about kicks. <laughs> well, that was my next question. Has he been kicked in the leg before? Alguna vez te han tirado una patada a ti? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, this is Marcos here with Din Thomas as he awaits his fight May 15th at Shine Fights Worlds Collide against Ricardo Mayorga. Din, uh, before we start getting into the specifics of this fight, right off the bat, um, I know a lot of people aren't taking Mayorga seriously, a lot of MMA fans aren't. Uh, do you take him seriously? Man, I, you see, ever seen a video of that guy? You gotta take him serious. You gotta respect him. You gotta respect his power because, you know what I'm saying, he don't care. So I'm definitely taking him serious. I've definitely put myself through a good camp for this fight. Man, this is gonna be a fight. Yo quiero decirle a toda la gente que compre mi pelea y que se siente temprano porque voy a ganar en el primer minuto, minuto y medio. He says to get the pay-per-view and buy it early because it's not going to last past one minute past the first round. He's going to knock him out in the first minute. Si bien toma me gana, me retiro de este deporte porque sería la mayor vergüenza que él me pegaría. Going to the fight, is the first thing you're going to do, go straight for a takedown or a head kick, test him? No, I, I'm not really, I haven't really figured that out yet. I've been working on a lot of different situations. Um, you know, I want to, I want to, you know, I want to test him first, you know what I'm saying? I want to kind of see what he's got on the feet. You know, everybody's, you know, he's bragging about his power, you know. I think he's, you know, I think he's a kind of slow, you know, especially relatively speaking. Compared to me, I think he's a lot slower than I am. So, you know, I'm going to dance a bit and see if he can keep up. So you want to dance with the former world champion boxer? Man, I ain't got no problem with that, man. I box, man, I've been boxing for a long time. I've been in, you know, been sparring with a lot of good boxers, you know. Um, you got to have confidence in yourself, so... You know, I gotta take a risk, so that's what I'm gonna do. Dean Thomas uh, said that he wants, he's planning on standing with you and testing you. Um, how do you feel about that? Dean Thomas está diciendo que se va a parar, no se va a tirar para piso. ¿Cómo tú te sientes? Él puede hacer lo que hace mi abuelita, pararse o acostarse. Igualmente le voy a ganar. My Orga even took this fight, even decided to go into MMA in the first place. It's crazy. <laughs> the guy, he's a, he's a clown. I mean, you saw him. Look at him now. He's over there. <laughs> he's a, you know, you should take that, that mic off and put it on your nose. You're like a clown, man. <laughs> Mike just lit up a cigarette right now. What, what do you feel about his uh, habits, I guess, uh, outside of the uh, cage ring? Uh, you know, he light up a cigarette now, so he'll smoke some... He'll smoke, drink, whatever. I don't care what he does. As long as he comes to fight on the 15th. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why has he been keeping his training partners, uh, sparring partners like that, so uh, secret?
Soy un enigma. Estoy lleno de secretos. It's because he's not told anybody who he's training with. He says he's going to let us know May 15. Do you believe that's all hype or do you believe he's... I don't know. I mean, that's kind of been the hardest part for me going into this fight is, you know, the fact that he's been such a mystery about who he's been training with. I mean, I, I haven't... I mean, I'm heavily in the community, in the MMA community. I mean, you know, I'm on American Top Team, but I'm friends with everybody right. in the community. And nobody knows anything. So, I mean, whatever... So You've so, seen um, Ricardo at ATT, correct? Yeah, I've seen him at ATT. I heard about him being at MMA Masters before. What did you see him do at um, ATT? What, I didn't, what, actually, I didn't see him there. I heard about him being there. But he was there for a while. You know, he was just training boxing there. Just boxing training. And just watching the MMA training. But just boxing mostly. But, um... You know, but just the fact that I don't know what he's been on. Like, I don't know. He may come out with, you know, Jacare or somebody. And it's like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I have to prepare for that. So, where was he Where was he doing some of his training for MMA for uh, for this bout? For the fight for MMA, where was he training for the fight for MMA? In Nicaragua. In Miami. In Miami, sorry about that. At American Top Team? No, not American Top Team. He's he's he's, he's working at a at a fight club, and then they have a, a private a private instructor, which he'll be letting everybody know the day of the fight who it is. Varias veces lo vi. Varias veces. Y él es el más ridículo. Sí. Yeah. Out of all the tough guys, he was. Ahí solo hay campeones que tienen tres, cuatro fajas. Y el pendejo este no. Como tú tienes la faja que le compró el papá cuando era pequeño. He's got this. You know, everybody that that trains out of ATT is, you know, several time champion. He's never been a champ. Una fajita que tiene de Kinder. <laughs> now, Din, if you had a choice, if you want to win this fight by knockout, by submission, um, what would you rather have? I would definitely rather knock him out because he is a boxer. I'd rather do it with my hands, too. Um, I, I mean, that's kind of what I'm hoping for, you know, is to knock him out with my hands because, you know, he's a boxer coming into our world. So, you know, I'm going to look to knock him out on the feet. Well, there you had it, Din Thomas. Recorder Mayorga, May 15th at Shines World Collide. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Appreciate it.